you guys welcome to this video i'm just going to do a little light language share i haven't done a video in my car in a while so welcome to my office um mostly because i've been on the phone so much um in between driving so here we go Let's see what just kind of some messages for the collective i think also and many of us are feeling an underlying sense of urgency this is coming up again as a subject or a feeling that is within our body. For our templates are all resetting. And that which has been is no longer applicable, is no longer, I'm seeing stop pushing the play button, pause and feel into if we still wanna play that game, if we still wanna play that record, if we still wanna loop into that pattern. This has been a big topic. For as we play in these new energies, we are being invited to reconnect with a deeper sensory system. This deeper sensory system is beyond the senselessness that has been fed into the main system that we have been feeding back into for large increments of time throughout our existence. For that which we are existing in, that that which we exist within, the larger framework of representation that we are representatives of, for we are stationed within a larger representation, um, that's a play on words like representing, um, hearing reproduction, a new station, um, and we are changing the quantum field in many different variations, stick or or ways, varieties. We may feel an underlying sense of resistance, for this is not something we are used to necessarily experiencing. It has not been in our experience. It is not it is not something we have experienced yet it is something that we have within each and every one of us it is not necessarily something that has been within our experiential play words i'm seeing parental field like we may not have um we didn't learn it from our parents necessarily. It's a play on words. It wasn't necessarily that we've anything we've ever come across before. These this X plane, um, and we're coming to that. We're in that. We're in it, right? And it is important to run diagnostics from time to time to check that which is diagnostically out of balance. Okay, uh, this is a, a alluding to a. Instagram post that I posted and also a blog post when I spelled out diagnostics it's basically uh, has to do with computers computer language but it's also talking about um, playing with that word the no stick teachings and recognizing that not everything we've been taught ha is 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 necessarily applicable or to be applied into our new reality. So what are we taking with us that we no longer need to apply to our current, play on words, situation, play on words. So where we are currently situated within the atmosphere, <laughs> That's a play of words. Many of us are situated within the most fear that we've ever experienced before, <laughs> um, but also where we are in the new location of our geometrical convergence, our geometrical connection to source equilibrium. So it's almost like I'm seeing like we're connecting up to source. We've we're do we've docked in. This is another reference to my Instagram post where it's in a docking station. So here we are in this new station. So it's in a different, completely space or area. <laughs> I'm hearing it's spaced differently as well to the old space that we were in before. It could be a new dimension. And when I'm saying new dimension, I see that it's an added dimension. So it adds more dimension to what we were able to see, feel, experience, and express before. And this creates a change or a much needed change 
in our value system and beyond. So whenever I say change in the value, I see like break, do you have change for a dollar? And you know, that type of change doesn't exist because we no longer are utilizing the value in that way. So what we value now is different than what we valued in this older, less full, uh, I'm hearing like Bucky Fuller, in the less full dimension. So we've changed the shape of our bodies, our chemistry, Mother Earth. The diagram, the uh, blueprints in which we have made the adjustments are also adjusting to what it is that we are requesting when we run these diagnostic runs. And I just did a huge write up in that Instagram post and on my blog at carryyvonne.com or at Keep It Simple Star Seeds, where the play on words is check in with ourselves. What are we running from? Um, how are we running our programs and even how we are checking our diagnostics. So sometimes we're not necessarily going deep enough to really root out, oh, I'm seeing pi, like the root of an equation. So we're only getting to parts of the whole when in actuality, if we make the appropriate, if we, uh, I'm hearing detach. So being a little detached from or being more of an observer and a witness than attaching ourselves to every little single thing that we see being, I'm hearing being flung at us. You guys, it's so funny. I have to laugh, which I really appreciate the sense of humor that my guidance team has in the universe. I literally was just shown a monkey flinging poo. <laughs> Yes, this is the way spirit communicates with me, which is really good because otherwise I would take things way too seriously. I get like wrapped up in these messages and I'm like, well, well, what does that mean? What does it look like? And my guidance team is like, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just roll with it. So we feel, many of us feel like a bunch of, um, how do I put it? When we think there's a certain name for, um, what is it called? Like we've evolved from monkeys, right? Or gorillas or uh, what is the type of, you guys know, what is it the type of animal that they represent? Mammal, whatever. There's a certain inver invertebrate that we feel that we've evolved from, but it's like those people that we don't feel that have evolved are flinging poo at us right now. That's one goofy layer of this. The other goofy layer of this is that we, um, it's like being flung at us from all directions. And we're like, ew, what, what's going on right now? Where did that come from and why? And do you even realize that this is what you're doing? So it's, I'm seeing like this super layer of all these messages that are coming in. So it's time to stop and look within and notice how we're responding to these situations and how our response is making us feel. That gives us feedback on how we can make the appropriate adjustments in order to fine tune the adjustments that need to be made, but also to find our tune. Like, to change our tune so that we're not constantly reacting from these, these beings that really aren't aware of what they're doing. To them, it's like perfectly normal or basically they may have <laughs> gone backwards a little bit, uh, de-evolved, I guess is the right word. Like for us to fling poo back at them, <laughs> you guys, I'm going to have to post this with a big poo emoji for us to fling it back at them. Isn't like helping the situation <laughs> It just starts a big poo flinging battle. <laughs> Oh, and cr puts us on the same level as them is what I'm being shown. Like it's, <laughs> And so this pressure that we're feeling to react to certain stimuli, if you will, is creating an imbalance across the board. So rather than get caught up 
or caught in the spin of what's being flung across the board, we are being invited to wipe the board clean and allow ourselves to cleanse our, our lens of perception. As we cleanse our lens of perception, we are able to see through the glass. We are able to see through the looking glass. We are able to see through looking um, from someone else's point of view. We are able to see through the other point of view that is being pointed at us. So I'm seeing like it's like there's I'm being shown a director's camera and the director saying, hey, come over and, and we're looking at the that they're shot. We're looking through their camera and then we're reacting to the situation because we're looking through their movie, if that makes sense. And I know that's a little bit layered, but um, I'll talk a little bit about the pressure that many of us are feeling maybe in another video. It feels like we're being in a nutshell, though pressurized like we're being compressed we can feel at times like we're being pushed on and squeezed through and it can feel uncomfortable at times but again by us acknowledging and not and when we acknowledge that something's happening it helps us to decrease the resistance and I'm being shown this has to do with like physics um, obviously, but there's a play on words I haven't quite picked up on yet. We use this lingo and we remind everybody that we use this lingo because in this, I'm hearing lingo, lego, in the building blocks of the language that we are sharing that we are essentially opening up to, it allows others to connect within their own network of a deeper communication in this wordplay that adds up to an equivalent of a higher trajectory. This is a mathematical composition that creates a score, meaning it adds value to the scoreboard. It assists in devaluing that which is no longer applicable to our domain, to our new reality, to our composition. It allows us to compose from a sweeter signature. It allows us to hone in to our own home recognition, in essence, allowing us to deepen the components. I'm hearing component, computational, componential. So if I were to write this down, I would play with all of these words. And basically it's allowing us to compose, adding a new set of instruments. When I say that it allows us to compose and add a new set of instruments, it's instruments that we didn't even know were at our disposal, at our that were available and I'm looking at like let's say you see I'm being shown a plane and you're flying your plane and you have a certain set of instruments that allows you um, uh, to like a compass but what I'm being shown is all of a sudden we have another instrument there that helps us to navigate where we're going that we didn't really have before. So all of a sudden we look and we, we say, well, where did that compass come from? And it's a new compass that allows us to, I'm seeing us like we're tapping the old compass and I'm being shown the Bermuda Triangle because everything is making our, um, our senses, our directional sense is very thrown off right now for a lot of people because of all the things that are happening. And I won't go into all of the layers, but everything's happening. We've got such a massive, I'm hearing scale of harmonic energy that is not only trying to deviate us off of our paths, path, um, but on the, on the positive scale, to balance that out, we have a huge influx of harmonics that are working with us in order to create balance. And I'm hearing in the analysis spectrum, in the spectrum analysis, in the ray spectrum, in the array. And this has to do, and I'm seeing cleansing the specs. Play on words. Specs are numbers. Specs are um, graphs and charts. Uh, 
eye spectacles, cleansing the eyes and allowing us to see what wasn't in front of us before. All of a sudden now we're in the Bermuda Triangle and we're able to navigate it somehow when this hasn't been done before. And I know this is very multidimensional, but we can this is applicable, this can be applied to any place in our lives right now that we might feel like we're unable to navigate in the same way that we used to. We're being invited to use the new instruments that are here and available to us now at our disposal and not try to keep turning back. I'm hearing turning back time, turn back to the old instruments and ignore what's being offered right in front of us because it's here now. We just need to recognize how to apply it and acknowledge when we feel the way that we feel because uh, when we hear certain words also, it can trigger the thread, the connection to that particular ability, memory, I talked about this in my previous video, uh, timeline, etc. I'm going to keep going until I run out of room and I'll split this into two videos. So this will be part video number two. So as we allow ourselves to analyze that which no longer fits, we open and also see from a higher range of analysts, analytics, <laughs> analytical abilities, heightened sensibilities, that which is being shown to us or impressed upon us is not real. Okay. We dip back and forth and use these languages and words and this linguistical display as an opportunity to tune in and recognize or reorganize our thought patterns. For when we use these different tunes and language diagnostics, if you will, <laughs> Plan words, Gnostic, anyways. It allows us to recognize that we are all utilizing a multilingual, multidimensional lingual, um, sublingual way of communication. So I'm seeing, I'm being shown that there's a, there's someone watching this. There's a, many of us out there that are getting these downloads, and I've done a few videos and talked about this recently, of information, and so we can hear them and we process them and it helps us to better understand our situation. Um, some of us are seeing through our inner eyesight is what I'm hearing. And we play with the words in this way for it allows us to use a display. It allows us to display a different way of communication and playfulness that we can all utilize in our own way that we play. So it doesn't have to be through wordplay. It can be through all kinds of different variations, dance, movement, um, technology, um, so on and so forth. So from for a more applicable message to be more linear for a uh, more, I'm hearing suitable pattern for deconstructing an old point of view, we are being invited to reorganize our inner technology, to reorganize in preparedness, to reorganize and prepare our pathology, to reorganize and prepare, I'm hearing uh, there's a lot of plays on words on that. Not only how we speak, but what we're listening to, how we allow others to speak with us, or do we want to speak with these beings who are maybe flinging poo at us? <laughs> but also I'm seeing like our paths and our, I'm hearing topology. And, and this is a lot of plays on words. We could go into many different layers. But for a more linear perspective, we are really feeling it. Are we really feeling it? Um, there will be a lot of flinging going on here in the next several weeks specifically. As this poo fling marathon <laughs> begins to open, I'm hearing open a can of worms and open wounds. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> 
uh, that that picture is not fun. But what I'm showing is there's certain people that are there be, that have just begun to heal uh, certain wounds, and those are going to be reactivated and re. I'm see there's another word that came in, but I'm just going to let that. Lie. I kind of lost it. Squirrel. But what I'm also seeing is that that's why it's so important to get right with us and to get right with our relationships to get right with our relationship with source because what's happening is things are going to rock our world and they already have for many of us but there's a lot of people that are about to get rocked is what i'm hearing i'm hearing we will we will rock you now as i say that i'm seeing a group of people that are just like rocking like angry I'm seeing a bunch of people that are rocking out like celebrating I'm seeing a bunch of people that are going to need gentle rocking like uh oh what's happening I must go back to sleep <laughs> you know and I'm seeing a group of people that are going to be required not required but invited to allow the help others soothe them to not I'm hearing use the inner mother an inner child yet also combine that with the fatherly instinct so it's like fatherly instinct this is right this is wrong this is safe motherly instinct it's going to be okay nourishing um supportive in that way and the inner child saying it's all okay i love you i want to play i'm sad i feel happy i'm hungry like basic instincts we really just have to come back to hum stabilizing humanity and what all everything else that's going on cannot take away from the fact that we are here on earth together we are here on earth now in these human bodies and no matter what's going to be flung at us we still have to come back to that reality and our reality is here on earth now and we are in our bodies if we wanted to leave our bodies we would have already left and we wouldn't be here right now some people will still choose to leave when they choose to leave so there's still a little bit of that for some of the knowledge that is about to be dropped into our drop drop box so to speak will be um i'm hearing casually disturbing for some will cause greater disturbance for others and then you want to go in and dissect and ask the question well what information does this is this we would invite you to question what information does this truth hold for me what information does this do for the greater truth the greater good and recognizing that information is merely communication and um the shtuk ur the shtuk ur mahat ek her ak ur of a certain level it is not relevant to have to know every single detail the relevancy comes how we respond and react to that which is going to be presented for the presentation is also part of the show part of this is has been created in to induce a certain chemical response such as fear and i'm hearing fear not my children inner child anyways so stabilizing our frequency allows us to stabilize our reality when we say this our version of reality and what we think it is may be rocked okay so we're not stabilizing what we're told reality is or what we're not told reality is we're stabilizing the basics you know are we taking care of our body are we offering support for our family are we offering support for ourselves emotionally physically are we drinking enough water whatever is showing up to be truthful we are being invited to recognize that it is truly interwoven into so many different subsets that it is um necessary in order to move away from what we were bound into 
I know this is very coded. And you guys, I've been shown a lot of possibilities of what's going to unfold. And every time I dive in and see certain things, I'm always drawn back. My guides are always pulling me back to now. They're pulling me back to how does that information help you? If I were to jump on here and say, this is what's going to happen, we still have freedom of choice. That could change within 24 hours and look different than how I was shown or how I interpreted it and presented it to you guys watching, listening, and sharing in this energy. So that really, it's not about the particular events that are about to unfold. It's preparing ourselves to recognize that there may be some really cool and crazy events that are about to unfold. How are, what, how are we going to responsibly take responsibility for our actions? That's it. And so we can allow this to play out in our imagination. Well, how would I respond if? How would I feel if this? Whatever your worst fears are, my suggestion is allow yourself to play those out in your head. When I say play those out in your head, what you're doing and feel into them. What we're doing is we're bringing them to the surface and we're acknowledging that this is my greatest fear. And we're not then um, savoring it, hanging on to it, chewing on it, and uh, allowing the fear to feed us or allowing, um, that's the, us to feed the fear or I'm hearing we have, we're being invited to have a willingness to let it go. Some of us have been hanging on to certain fears for so long that we're not willing consciously. So it's subconsciously, excuse me. Well, maybe both to let it go, to integrate it, to process it. We hang on to it almost like it's this cool thing. Like I'm afraid of heights and I'm not knocking fears. I still have them. I mean, if a tornado appeared right over my house right now, would I be like, Oh, I'm just going to integrate that. Lovely. No, <laughs> I would not be a hundred percent unafraid. However, I could either lose my mind and run away screaming and leave my husband and dog and family wondering where I went and not knowing if they're okay. Or I could say, all right, there's a tornado. How do I need to prepare for this? I'm very frightened right now. Am I frozen? No, I've got to get my husband, get my dog and move or go underground, right? Go within until the storm passes, but acknowledging that the storm is there. I'm not just going to ignore it. So that's something that I'm being shown again. It's the elephant in the room. Anything. We're being invited to process this. And it's a gift in some ways because a lot of us, it's all of our fears are really being played out from my perspective all around us. Like, oh, there's the fear of control. Oh, there's the fear of losing this freedom. Oh, there's the fear of death. Oh, there's the fear of getting really sick. Oh, there's the fear of possibility of job changes, losing the job, um, finding something new, having to learn all over again, children, protecting them, parents. I mean, I could keep going on and on and on. And all those examples that I just shown, I was speaking about is another layer of the poo. <laughs> because some of these are being thrown at us and that's not, doesn't belong to me. That's not going to stick you deflect. That's your own, that's your own stuff to deal with. I'm not going to take that on, but on the flip side, it's like that can be represented as fears. It's like, it's just crap that we have not dealt with. I'm not calling a fear of dying crap because it can be a legitimate fear. Maybe a lot of our relatives or friends or families have passed away and it's something deeply embedded within us. But all I'm saying is we're really being asked to recognize it, acknowledge it, and however we need to 
process it as best as we can so that we can stabilize and prepare for the upcoming cycle of transition and reset is what I'm hearing, like the reset button. So those are the words that are coming through. You could take that into any narrative that is being shown to us right now or any narrative that isn't being shown that we recognize is a possibility. And I could go on and on on that level. So you guys, we are really in this, it, it, and I am right there with you going through all of this as well. So in love and light guys, <sighs> breathe and honor yourselves because we are all <sighs> um, stabilizing our fields as best as we can and transitioning through this um, as graceful as we can. <laughs> and that looks different on different days, different hours, different moments. <laughs> Much love, you guys. Namaste.